Walker? Um. <clears throat> All righty. Uh. You normally wake up early? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm up every day at uh, 9, uh, 9, 9 a.m. EST. 9 a.m. Okay, good shit. How's the uh, ship been generally? I want you to speak okay. openly, all right? I don't, I don't like everything we say in here stays in here. I want you to be transparent, honest, etc., and you're going to receive the same back. I mean, okay. the shift is. <sighs> Mr. Mayor, um, the shift is doing pretty good. Okay. okay. Shift is doing pretty good. Did I request a transfer yesterday? I did. Oh. A BCSO? Yeah. Okay. Why is that? Uh, I just feel uh, unappreciated. Yeah, you could call me a pussy if you want to, but uh, mm. eight months being in the department, uh, leading the leading the pack unit for shift one, and uh, I just it, I just I have to. Uh, I don't know if you heard about the raid yesterday. Um, yeah, I saw the guns. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those <laughs> people who listen to me just you know wouldn't be in that situation. Yeah, I mean, I told him yesterday wasn't, wasn't a good day. I got you. You know, and I just feel like I'm. Uh, this is the the say, hydro one, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Which we have to do again because you know. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, has there been any improvement in the LSPD? Has there been any improvement? Yeah, like I mean. Over the course, I, I'll tell you from my perspective, I have never seen a more dog shit unified police department in my fucking life led by the most incompetent and pretentious pricks. Uh, I've had uh, the lack of privilege of uh, uh, dealing with. Um, yeah, I mean, after we got rid of the dictator Ruth, um, I think we've been doing pretty good. Uh, other than that, after they uh, got after you got rid of Ruth, it got better. Yeah, yeah, it did get better. It got a lot better. Okay. Um, Could you explain I like the how and why? Uh, because it was a... It was just... I feel like no one can just uh, have a bit of downtime to have a conversation. It was high-paced constantly, which is That's fine, changing. right? Soon. Right? Which is fine. Yeah. But sometimes, at the end of the day, to keep morale up, you got to have those downtimes for sure, right? It's one I, of those... I agree. I agree. In fact, that's the whenever a chief is selected, that is going to be a requirement as dictated by the policy. If that is not upheld and people are getting burnt out, uh, that right. person's gone. Um, because to me, uh, it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist to sit back and say, man, we keep bringing in cops and they our numbers aren't going up. But simultaneously, it's like go 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 go, right? And um, and 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 then it's like, man, why aren't people having time to get trained and 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 relax? It's because there's a odd mentality, I believe, and and that shift better happen soon, right? That um, you need to go to every call. You're not going to solve every fucking crime. Exactly. And if you try to then you're never going to have time to develop up the police department it's it's, it's that simple yep. um so it, it's uh that's that's basically uh, but it, it has the morale has gone it's getting there but it, it's okay. still not there of course right uh retention the retention rate is down oh uh, yeah it's that's that's really it i don't think it's doing bad it could be a lot better though uh for sure oh no it's doing dog shit. yeah so I'm going to tell you, like, I, I don't know how y'all internally sort of set your metrics, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I'll tell you from an outsider's perspective is uh, leading up to the election, uh, anytime I look at the newspaper, there was barely any arrest, which is okay, right? Whatever. But then when there was arrest, there was egregious rights violations. And if it went to court the cops would lose and it wouldn't be over some like 
like, uh, you know, it'd be over stupid shit. Like, man, we charged someone with criminal use of a firearm, even though they didn't have a gun. And we saw the GSR. Or, oh, I arrested somebody because uh, I thought they were involved. I, I presumed they were involved in a robbery. But by the way, I don't remember why I arrested them and what my PC was for a search. Like, that's bad. That's like having fucking mall cops running around. Do you yeah, get what I'm I saying? Agree. Like, I would much rather y'all arrest, like, one individual, a tsunami, but, like, do a good arrest, and then work on two, and then three. But if you try to get so many and do so much, you know, you're just naturally going to have low quality. Is, is that making sense? Uh, you can yeah, tell that, me that, you think that's wrong, by the way. I no, don't no, no. That, that, make, that, make, that makes complete sense, but the thing is, you got to... I feel like it needs to... It, it needs to have, like, an environment to where people feel and i i hate and I'm, i hate to be the one to bring up feelings uh mr mayor but yeah you have to have an environment where people feel comfortable and not scared to do their job uh can you underline what that means uh basically some people like there'll be calls like where we for instance uh perfect example right um let's say i'm actually i'm gonna use cypress as an example uh cypress are not very much they won't open fire right uh but recently they have been but normally they normally don't cyprus uh, people, doesn't yeah like, they, shoot they cops. No, yeah yeah shoot cops right okay um recently they started doing that but like like normally they don't so if we have like four units or three units to go do it like an arrest down there for um people are scared to go down there because if it turns if somebody gets hurt down there they're probably gonna get in trouble it's the truth and it it is, it's a, it's a, it's it's in trouble like oh well why did you go down there with six units well it it's a, just a drug call i think three units is adequate for for us to deal with you know this is you know i know it's a gang area but within their past uh track record they don't shoot at cops i feel like three units is good i feel like we could three units this, three yeah three units is good agreed you know um, yeah if you fucking scared, bring a shitload of cops down there they're gonna you're yeah. escalating it yeah, so pe people were just scared to do that because God forbids if somebody's feeling tough that day in Cyprus and stabs a cop, then it's like, why the fuck weren't you down there with six? I'm like, well, no, the track record says they don't normally shoot at cops or do anything violent like that. Mm -hmm. They kind of just peel off. So I didn't think I needed more cops, but then you, you probably get in trouble, to be honest with you. Um, interesting, okay. So and that's what you mean by like scared to do the job? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just it's scared to do the job. It's not on the on the level of uh the prior command, you know, but it is it's still there. People were just people were very afraid. And I'm just gonna be be hundred percent honest with you. Who's I'm people? not I think uh, officers. Officers are very afraid to do their job. Newer um, officers, older officers. Second? Newer officers, older officers. A, a lot of a lot of officers, both new okay. and older. Okay. Um, because I think new office, and and the reason I'm making a distinction is I think there's right. a lot of, uh, uh, newer offices that are scared because they probably shouldn't have been hired to begin with. But that's a separate story. Right. Um, are you familiar yeah, with the hiring process? Yes. Okay. How do uh, how does it work? Um, they go From through an interview. application to academy. Okay, application portion I don't know. All I know is after the applicant whoever looks over the application um i was told it was um command or command plus or at i'm not sure uh that's out of our hands um then shift one gets a list then they set up an academy or the, excuse me they set up the interview from the interview process say here and nay uh then the academy then um uh you know after you know cadet a couple fto sessions and then they go to ppl and then from there they yeah yeah that's the process right now so um of the offices that you have seen getting hired like in the last um i don't know like five weeks i think there's been like three academies maybe six weeks mm -hmm. um and uh of those cops have you seen them around after the academy nope okay of the ones you have seen uh did they have a base level understanding of like could at a base level could they drive well, fuck no at a base level could they handle someone like myself screaming no, at them 
fuck no. Okay. And that's what's wrong. Yep. That is 100%. Because they're I, I getting feel... a bunch of fucking grinders, I think, uh, yep. with all due respect. And uh, they're saying, oh, cool, they applied first. So let's, like, give them a gun and a badge and then be Pikachu face when they can't fucking drive or handle a criminal screaming at their face. You know, exactly. and I'm not trying uh, to be a dick, right? I'm sure some of them no, no, are like but you, but nice you individuals, to, but like, yeah, you, need you know, to, but you know, I truth is like, truth. you know, it's, it's unfortunate. If you don't know how what's going on, and if you can't yeah. handle yourself in Los Santos, good luck fucking being a cop, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. that entire thing needs to change. And and you might be like, well, you're just the mayor. You just pick the chief of police. Well, I can also get rid of them, right? And my at the end of the day, right? Like I, I uh, you know. Uh, dial back two months. I wouldn't give a fuck if someone dropped the bomb on, on, on y'all's uh, department and killed all, all of you. But right now, y'all are my fucking responsibility. And the last thing I right. need is fucking an anarchy on the streets. And from the moment I started looking at how you guys operate, it just kind of just seems like nobody... Uh, uh, anyways. Um, give me a second. What do you... What do you oh. <clears throat> Oh, hey, oh, uh, just give me oh. um, just a little bit. I'm just uh, wrapping up with uh, another meeting, and then I should be good. Something happened to your ears, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you all about it in just a little bit. I got attacked by a grinder. Okay. Yes, Hi, King. Hi, Peters. Hi. What's up? Um. <sighs> all right. Um. Okay. All right. That's why I want to ask directly, right? Like, I don't got time yeah. to, like, sugarcoat shit, quite frankly. Of course. Um, okay, so now the next question is, uh, how would you change that? Uh, well, you need the right people at the helm. Uh, once again, that is for, you know... Of, of course, recruiting? Uh, yes, one of, of recruiting, 1,000%. You need the right people that can... I would like to just you not just see. I do FTO. Uh, I don't deal with the like the interview process or the the list of names, right? Okay, so you you, you deal with them once they're in academy. Yes, basically. Who I deals deal with, with who's get think, like who deals with that process? I think um, I I think Viv and Anita and Maxwell are like at the helm of hiring i'm okay. not if i'm not mistaken. i'll dig into it i'll dig into it yeah uh okay so, so recruitment issue people are afraid to do their job and i want to dig into that a little bit deeper because sometimes i hear um afraid to do the job but that can mean a lot of different things uh for example that can sometimes mean a cop doing brain dead shit and justifying it and saying, why can't I do this? You know what I mean? So give yeah, me it, some examples beyond the Cyprus thing. Because I do uh, agree that, you know, like, if, if you're bringing a shitload of cops down to a call, you're more, you're setting up yourself to get murked. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of different things. It's one of, for instance, um, when somebody gets, uh, when a cop gets pitted at like 140 miles per hour and ejects, um you know what i'm saying it's it's the open fire I'm, or not. I'm, I'm, I'm a one warning type of guy you know i don't know about you oh i know I, I know about you myself. and you're pitting trust me people tell me all about it <laughs> yeah um but i I'm listen not... listen dad i'm gonna be honest with you i know there's a lot of shit you get but uh yeah. i know that some of it's embellished it's a little something right so. yeah once again it's, it's one about like interference vehicles right if we get pit yeah. at 140 i'm gonna tell you <laughs> listen you do that shit again I'm shooting you. Then they pit them at 120. I'm shooting them. I'm not seeing it seven times. People were scared to pull the trigger. You know, they're scared to pull the trigger. And that, one thousand. And why? That's one of them. Why? Because they think they're gonna get in trouble and they don't know how to do their fucking jobs right. Okay. Can I ask you a question? You, what's up? I like your mentality. Okay. I like where you're coming at it, because, but. How do I trust your opinion when you don't even do your reports? I do my reports. Uh, a court case was lost uh, just last week because you Ooh. decided not to put your report in. 
no, you know what's crazy, Mr. Nino? I'm glad mm. you brought that up. Mm. So, um, I could send you a screenshot of my report being written in Notepad uh, the day of. Mediclap, the, the day too of Mediclap, that too situation. Mediclap, too Mediclap, um, so too Mediclap, too Mediclap, too. So what you happened? The, so uh, the four requests came through. Uh, a Sergeant Slacks uh, dealt with the four requests. So mm -hmm. normally when you when a, a lawyer asks for a report, we get a, you know, it goes through proper channels. I know sure how it works because I'm the one yeah. that screamed at Crane and made that bitch put it in the legislation. All right. Yeah. So um, Slacks just gave that report up to a lawyer without even doing the proper process. So I was never notified that that I just got. How did he do it wrong? Did he not notify you and just send it? He just sent it to him instantly as okay. soon as he asked for it. Good. Why aren't you doing it the day of? Uh, because uh, there's a lot of things going on that day. We have 24 hours to put all our, st uh, our stuff in, right? I understand. Right. Because it was past 24 and, hours. And the reason it's 24 hours is because PD is doing dumb shit. Um, don't I, be I mean, surprised. No, not I mean. Because I, I want you. Then. Well, that's fine. And, and I'm going to explain. I want to hear why you think otherwise. Okay. Is that you are a law enforcement officer, right? All right. You've been granted the privilege to have this job. Right. Right. And that privilege, that badge that you wear, allows you to temporarily take someone's rights away. Am I correct? I, I don't. Uh, but detaining I, I somebody. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay. Taking away their freedom of movement. Okay. Okay. And now. You're taking that individual and you are prescribing them based on your best effort as to whether or not they go to jail. Right? Okay. Even without due process in Los Santos, which means that it is uh, pertinent for you to ensure that you are able to prove that they have done what they've done. Now, my question is, why... Is it that you need more than a short amount of time to put the report in? What is it that's happening that's so goddamn tremendous that so, no one can do it before they go back on patrol? Because we, we can't both say that we want to slow things down while simultaneously say we need extra time to put in a report. That shouldn't take yeah. more than 10 minutes. Um, well, the thing is, when, uh, when you get, uh, bitched about somebody being at the PD for too long, once again, we have constant shit going on, right? I'm that not won't saying... happen anymore. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I, is, I you get understand. you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we had that 78 call, then a, uh, a Mace Bank pops up, then a cash exchange pops up, then a laundry pops up. You know what I'm saying? You get, the thing is, we write the reports, right? We write the reports. And um, uh, we I probably feel like think this seven months. We just need to get to these calls because we have the job to do. So command is making you ping chase. No, no, no. Command is not making me ping chase. But the thing is, the job needs to get done. I can't just sit there and with my thumb in my so ass what's, writing up a. Again? What's causing you to go to the thing? Who's telling you to go to the thing instead of finishing a report? The oath that we took. Which is what? Kravik, thank the seven months. Ironic, thank the 62 months. Our motto, God. protect and serve. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 like we don't have anybody out there to like to to go to these calls. So if there's nobody going to these calls, we have to go Let, save the let, hostage. Let's roll least. back. Let's roll back uh -huh. a little bit because now now you kind of got me confused because you mentioned that you did you not agree that the um conceptually you agree that things need to be slowed down so it's not go, go, go. Yes. Right? So how do you do that while then s justify going to call the call the call and say the oath? But Which right one now, is it? it, it, it that's what I'm saying, uh, mm. sir. Right now, I, I want to understand. That... I'm not trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 shit got on you, you here. You. Yeah, yeah, because right now we're not at that point. Right now it is go, go, go. Right. right? We're not at the point where we can, okay, I, like we have what? Let's see, right? We probably have like five units on duty. Mm -hmm. It is go, go, go. Like one call, there was a gang shootout. We got there. there yeah. And then uh, laundry map pops up. We have to go to that one. You know what I'm saying? We can't just leave the hostage there because it's, it's only us. We have to go do it. Do you think you can solve every crime? Solve every crime? No, but I feel like the violent ones, we could at least help. Like, at least get the hot. We don't need to chase. The individual right we need to get that hostage out what if i That's told you it's okay if people get hurt 
because you can't save everybody. Oh, I mean, that's part of life. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the other day I breached the bank uh, because uh, I think that was, that was the, the best way to deal with it. Let me give you a hypothetical, right? You said you got five cops on duty, right? Yes. Let's say you throw two cadets into the mix. Is it a better to focus on getting those two cadets to a position oh, where yes, Sorry. they are effective? Mm -hmm. Or is it better to just keep them in the vehicle and just go, 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 go? And now, and and that goes on and on and on and on. Yeah. Um, because the long term mm -hmm. is that you, because you're right. You got to get to a point where you got like fucking 30 cops, right? But right. the fact of the matter is, for the last six months, you got to ask yourself the question, why is the numbers not increasing, right? It's not a singular thing. It's a multiple things. It's the environment. And so it's, you have to have a priority of what comes first. And the reality of the matter is, right, is that if the primary thing is we got to go to every call regardless of what, then those cadets are never going to get trained. If those cadets are never trained then you don't get the plus two cops. You have to learn to manage what you can go to. You know downtown Chicago? Like, you know in Chicago, oh cops don't go to every fucking call down there. You know that, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a PVP zone. I want to go to every call down there either. Yeah, they will literally let shit fucking pop off because they're like, we can't do anything about this. And there's that's not... That is... And why, how do they justify it? Because they're not going to get killed. And they understand that they need the resources before they make that move. So you you are right. I don't disagree with you in the sense that, look, if there's a hostage or whatever, you know, you take it or whatever. But we're talking, I would agree with your general stance if it wasn't for the fact that there was a pattern of lack of reports. Yeah. Right? Um, because at the end of the day, right, someone has now been thrown into prison. And even if you prevented them from doing a crime if they're able to just walk because the work wasn't done because the reports wasn't written because the mm -hmm. proper evidence wasn't collected then that arrest was pointless anyways all you did you didn't actually you know provide justice and and i'm not digging at you i'm saying this is like a cultural issue that the citizenry who put me in place are complaining about Wait, you said a citizenship or complaining the about? citizenry, yes. It's one of the yeah. primary reasons I've been elected in. Okay. And I've seen it myself as a lawyer. I've won every fucking case, and most of them have been, oh, put in the FOIA, all right, it comes back, there's like two fucking reports. Or like, wow, fucking Maeve and Riker are lying, you know, out of their fucking ass. Or, oh, hey, Slax is looking at someone's SIM card. Or... I go to a bench trial last second, and I have a detective on the stand saying, I don't remember why I put them in cuffs. So, like, what's the point? Like, how is that even policing? You know? All you're doing is yeah. you're... At that stage, you have a department that's pretending. They're LARPing. They're LARPing. It's a LARP... Uh, LAR like, uh, LARPing SPD, you know? Because if yeah. you're just going around and putting people in cuffs and, like, saying, okay, you go to prison, but then there's no... They don't, they don't get judged. <laughs> then you're just LARPing at that point. Yeah, you're you get right. Where, you you're see right. where I'm going with this? And yeah, I'm trying to figure going, out how I, do we fix this? I, I think, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I think the the very big fix, and you might, you, if you mention this to the LSPD, they might get upset, okay? I literally screamed at Barrick the other day. They, no, they no, will no. hear everything. Oh, what you're about to say? No, no, no. I'm just saying, would you say this to the LSPD? If you say this to... I will to, say it to their face. Oh, yeah, okay. Um... Oh, you we need another. If you think I, you're getting another, roasted right now, trust me. No, no, you no, haven't no, seen no, anything. No, I, I already know. I already yeah. know. All right, sir, trust me. I'm I'm good, sir. If you tell them we need another forty man academy, watch how to. Oh no, my no, God, 40, the, 40 man's insane. What do you mean? No, we know, but we need it because the thing is, you know why we need it, Mister Mayor? Because that's the only way we can retain good people. I, uh, good. The thing is, people preach quality over quantity. Motherfucker, Correct. we're not in the point where we can have quality over quantity. We need the quantity first, and then we can uh, trickle it down to get the quality. 
If you uh, gotta get rid of motherfuckers, get rid of them. Shit, let me we, hit up Albert. We're not in a position to pick and choose. We need officers on the street. Simple this is as that. taking longer. This is taking longer than I thought. Can we push out thirty minutes? My, I, I don't want to stop you. Um, so right, I'm good. just letting um pushing out the meeting. Okay. Um, so the thing, the first how thing do you say, how oh, do you FTO do what you're saying? Out. How do you? The, 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 the only reason FTOs are getting burnt out is because yeah. FTOs. Okay, I'm gonna mention it. I, I mentioned this a couple months ago. Before you move on to the next thing, hold that thought. Mm -hmm. You're able to hold it without. Forgetting yeah, yeah, it? yep, yep, okay. yep. Did you agree with me earlier when I said yeah, that no, this no, seems no. to be an issue with the application and selection process? Right, we both agreed to that. Yes, and well, that these was... guys can't drive; they can't get yelled at. Yes, right. And that even with a small amount of numbers that they've been um, not sticking around because they might genuinely be showing up just to get hired. And if they're not, and they're just waiting on an island somewhere, right? Yep. So now you're saying take that same thing and balloon it to 40 people. How do you logistically do that? It's one of it's one of those where you just gotta. There's uh, not got it. Then, no, no, it's, then it's, you you need what's your plan? How is it gonna work? Okay, because then the retention rate holds. Because within that, four, we already had a thirty-five man. No, class. no, no, no. Then, you know how many people then listen to me very carefully, right? Okay. Yeah. If I sat here and I literally can type in "give me forty uh, cadets next academy," okay. I can put okay. that in the policy. Right. I will do it right now. Okay. How do you do what you just said? The academy Explain or... how it's going to work. The, the academy portion? Yes. Okay. So It's not going to happen because uh, this is insane. The FTOs will overlook the academy. At that point, okay. at that point, uh, it would go through every single officer, four officers, right? Uh, seniors, sergeants, lieutenant plus, they should be uh, able to take out those cadets and get them through three sessions. Okay. Let's yep. dial it back. I want okay. more concrete. I want you to tell me what shift that academy is going to happen. Who are going to be the people in the academy and who mm -hmm. are the FTOs that are going to train it? Give me an okay. exact plan. Okay. So uh, it goes just like this. 40-man academy. Uh, it'll be a couple from shift. There'll be multiple. It'll be all shifts, right? Multiple okay. people from You got to split it into three shifts or one big academy? Yeah. No, it's going to be one big academy, but three okay. shifts. There's going to be all, all three size FTOs are going to be there. All three shifts, right? Okay. How many um, FTOs is that? Uh, let's even, it, it could be two. Two FTOs matter. for 40 people? No, it, two, no, no. I'm talking about two FTOs per shift, right? Okay. So six for 40. Okay. Okay. You take a couple officers when you get to the pursuit portion. FTOs, okay, deal okay. with the academy portion, teaching them how to use MBC. Is it going to be a four day academy? How are you even going to do like training traffic stuff when, it's be, oh, when there's 40? Let, 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 me, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be three days. FTOs, yeah. FTOs will go through the process of teaching MDT. Okay. At, at that point, it's a classroom portion. Think of it as a classroom mm -hmm. portion. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going through MDT process. You're going through uh, processing, going through charges, uh, putting charges down. Okay, that's one day. Second day, you'll go through one classroom portion. Again, you'll you'll watch mock thirty eight calls, uh, drug sale calls, and this is not going to be like a forever thing. And then mock robbery calls. Last day is when you go through it and you have them all go through it, uh, uh, uh one by one. Yes, it might be a bit longer, but the thing is, at least they'll all go through it, right? Now, once that three day, before, hold on now, once that three day academy is done, this motherfucker FTOs like trying to play no Starcraft, bro. Like, hands on, you, you know, one. just click some they orcs and then click on the barracks officers, and it starts spamming officers, cadets, sergeants, deputies, all of that. Okay, which will then give their feedback on how these officers do. If they do not do well within those three sessions, right, they are gone. At that point, FTOs don't get burnt out because all FTOs had to do is deal with a three-day academy, okay? Now they're setting up for the next 
whatever how many people they need to uh, for the units and then they go uh, and then the officers in the full the, the people that are already police officers are teaching people uh, uh how to do their jobs on the field on the field the throughput system goes through pro i do want to hear it out but this doesn't it, it, make it, any it, sense it's is easier, the problem it's a, it, it's just completely easier no burnout everyone's happy if i'm understanding correctly you're saying get 40 of these dog shit applicants that haven't been working out so far right and then you no, bring well, them to you, academy you, 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 you can't know their dog shit just they're applicants. I, you can't know their I, dog I shit. know their dog shit because uh logically over the last six months, right, those people have been trained in multiple academies and then they're not showing up. So inherently, if the cur the process that's existed over six months has ap applicants that are failing to drive by your own admission, are failing to show up by your own admission. And are failing to learn by your own admission how are you saying the application process is in dog shit unless there's some other reason it's not happening so we have 700 we have 700 applicants 700 correct Se 700 yeah you're telling me we can't figure out within three days if we're going to keep an officer an applicant or not during a cadet situation uh if there's been no track record for it I let, let me give you an example right right you're running a football team okay all right you're the coach all okay. right and you're getting random people to come over and say let me try out for this team right okay and they're coming all right they're playing for like they come to training and then they fuck off and it keeps happening over and 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 over again don't you think that at that point that the filtering process at the very beginning is the issue why would you exert the energy in an academy if the problem is with the application process, why would if you not the fix case, the application process? Why would you pre-screen somebody? Chance, though. It's a it's chance all, if you're playing yeah, RNG somebody, with the entire population. That's what it is. It really is RNG. You can sit there, have a good interview with somebody. They sound, they, mm -hmm. they check all the boxes and then they turn out to be, I don't know, some fucking moron with no fucking thumbs with a gun mm. and a badge. It, 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 it's all RNG. But you have to take the chance and you have to push them through quick enough to where okay. you if they, you want them to stay or you get them the fuck out. Let me let me put it a different way, right? Imagine this is a system, which it is. Okay. You, you with me? You understand it's a system, the training process? Mm-hmm. Okay. If the system is not producing offices, is something wrong with the system? Or do you say, let's expand the system to put more input in uh i i take it like this i take it like a uh um so for instance we take six cadets we get right now i think our last this academy was eight cadets right god forbids only two of those cadets stay uh, i'm not good at math but what's that what's the retention rate at that point if two stayed out of the yeah. eight is that the current retention rate yeah it's it's bad so what I'm the trying to do is... The current retention rate is two cops for every eight? Basically. Okay. That's what it is. All right. So why are there six cops on duty right now? What, what, what do you mean there's six cops on duty? Well, if the retention rate was two out of eight, then shouldn't uh -huh. there be more cops on duty right now and during the week? I mean, you know how many officers we have hired? We have 185, I think 182 officers? Is, is this not the reason? This is exactly what I just told you. We yeah, but if they're not showing up, are they actually retained? It, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the retain, the people, the the people that retain that are still on duty, or the people that re, like that stay. There's people that are not on duty. You know what I'm saying? That got hired within that 35. Like it's 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 crazy. That's why we need. Like, that's why we need those numbers because if it's a 40 man, yes, there's gonna be people that never show up. We fired our asses, and at least we keep the people, and then we try to train mm. them that, okay. properly. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna agree to disagree. I get your point. I I mm -hmm. think what you're saying could work. I just kind of see that more as brute force yeah. in instead yeah, of I, intelligently trying to improve the system to in, right. uh, I, I, to filter at a earlier stage. And and I kind of disagree, right? Because right. I've ran plenty of gangs, um, and yeah, yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's, and, yeah, and the way that we used to recruit, right? And there weren't really gangs, like you know what I mean. Um, but you would. 
when you, you you know you find someone on the street or whatever right right and you see you well, should have a pretty decent idea whether they're going to even work out to begin with right right and what i'm trying to suggest is that that process before you waste their time and your time exerting your energy on uh, on them for three days that mm-hmm. the screening process should be a little bit better is that that yeah but it, yeah and that's what that's what you said it's orange yeah at that point this they can fit they, they can check all the boxes it can all lie and it, that's fine lie. And, and that's you fine know? i i just i i think the other thing too is i know reasonably i don't imagine that ever happening um yeah. uh so okay yeah, um, that, so I, what, what I, else? I should... Let's move away from the the recruitment thing, because realistically, okay. um, you know, what you're suggesting would need, need to require me to make you chief. No, I, don't, I do not want chief. Please, God. But no, that's, I mean, I'm, already, I'm not even a candidate, but I'm just saying, like, no. I, I, yeah. I would never want that. Yeah. Um, actually, who are your candidates? Actually, if, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, I haven't told anybody. I mean, you can tell me the T. Come on now. Come on now, Mr. Mayor. You can tell you. Can you're tell lucky me. you're employed then. Why would I tell you? What do you mean? What what the fuck did I do? You are you gonna stare me in the fucking eyes and tell me that? Really? You know, part of my conversations include your name. And every candidate I told them I tell them that I don't want to see cops like Den fired. Do you know why I say that? Do I need to explain myself? Please tell me I don't have to explain myself. I feel like cops like me get the job done. You didn't put your report in that caused a person to walk off. That court case was bullshit, Mr. Mayor. It's and Ruby was thinking the same thing when she lost her case against Mr. K. If, have you? Have you? How I, is it I, bullshit I, I, when um, the people my, that are in charge my, of deciding whether? It's guilty or not guilty as saying it's not guilty. That's because a bad the, mentality to have. It's not a bad mentality. It's because I everything was in detail of why that individual got shot, and they still ruled it as not guilty. The Mr. K the, case? Wait, what? That's not my case. Okay, I, I didn't know which one you're referencing. Oh, but hold on. I didn't have anything to do with Mr. K. No, no, I, I know. When you said that case, I thought you were talking about the Mr. K case. You're oh, talking no, no, about no, the oh, one that oh. you were involved in. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Never, never yeah. mind, never mind. Okay, the Mr. K case. Okay, that's... that. That's. That. I mean, I wouldn't have pushed that charge. That's all. Hey, you know you know me. I know. Hey, I wouldn't have pushed that charge. That's me. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like, listen, cops like me, Mr. Mr. Mayor, with no disrespect, of course, you feel me? Um, How I'm many court cases done. have you won? Uh, I think I'm f- six and one. Uh, excuse me, seven and two. Seven and two? Okay, what seven was the last ca- court case? The last one was a peanut... Uh, pe- uh, peanut versus yeah, peanut. Uh, it was Mr. Jaquan Dumas. And when what day was it? I got the doctor. Uh, shit. Um, that one was last. Fuck. That was last week. Uh, is uh the appeal right? July seventeenth. Yeah. yeah. All right, good shit, good shit, then. So why does PD hate you? Uh, once again, because uh, PD hates me because it, as I do my job, you know, it, when you do your job, uh, mm-hmm. criminals don't like it, right? Um, criminals get upset, and they go and tell and file a complaint. Mm-hmm. Um, the PD takes those complaints as gospel of the, the Lord and Savior, whoever it is to whomever and then there's a whole investigation wasting resources on some fucking stupid ass criminal that got arrested and was mad because they drove into a corner and got instantly boxed and yeah and then they, while trying to reverse they ran over their friends so they blame their stupidity on the officer i want i and, want you to give me an example because it sounds like you want to give me one but i want to hear oh, an example so well i want you to give me one Mm. because yesterday, i need to understand it you know what i mean i can't like you know. yesterday um there is which one damn man there's so many okay uh vinny pestone individual is doing uh repairs at the the pd 
you know, getting repairs. Uh, I called them up. Hey, listen, uh, get, come do these repairs. We get all these repairs done. I go and get money with Sheriff Bones at the time uh, to go pay him. He gets into his vehicle. Um, I'm not sure if his uh, he left a PD vest in there. He's like, oh, my God, Denzel went into my vehicle and put a PD vest. That didn't come back to me because, you know, when we get our PD vest, we have to log it with our serial numbers. Right, Mr. 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 Mayor. So did you get reprimanded? Oh, no, no. There was a command report on it. And I was being investigated like I planted. Did you get reprimanded? Uh, no, I didn't get reprimanded. OK, could you give me in one way you did get reprimanded? Mm. Mm -mm. OK, uh, there was one with uh, Mr. There was one with Mr. Juan and there was one with Zolo. Uh, Zolo Flippy? stirred a uh, Flippy, yeah. OK. Uh, there's. Uh, there was one with Zolo. Zolo stirred a situation between myself and Viv to the point where Viv took a leave of absence and demanded me to be fired. I uh, think we, I one. thought we talked about this one already. Yeah, we, we Why did. Why is that still one. in the back oh, of your mind? Oh, no, 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 because I, you said the ones when I got reprimanded. Uh, there's another one with... That was uh, like three months ago. Yeah, I mean, it's it still happened. You know what I'm saying? What happened in the last two months where you got reprimanded unjustly? Actually, I've been good this two, uh, two months. Actually, I got I got shot at by one of uh, a Clark Mason okay. uh, the other day. I didn't get reprimanded for that one, though. Oh, I heard about that one. Why really? are you driving around in gauntlets? I was scouting for a warrant apprehension uh, operation. Right. Do you know that you can't legally do that? I'm not going to do anything about it, but you understand that PD can't do that right now, right? I can't legally drive a vehicle? With, while fucking operating as a law enforcement. You, let me ask you something. What is that gauntlet? That is a, a personally owned vehicle. Yes. But what is it referred to? When you're operating as a cop. Unmarked? Uncover, uh, undercover, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Do you not see an issue with that? Nothing's gonna happen to you. I'm very familiar right. with what happened. Like all yeah, the I'm, details. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get our TRT you know, and SOPs yeah. completely changed for full UC privileges. You know those um, SOPs need to be uh reflective of current legislation, right? Yeah, that's 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 all good and great. We could yeah. I already talked to Justice Angel about yeah. that. Once again, it's gonna completely change. Yeah. But the the fact of um I watched somebody do a get into a head on collision. Um I once again I, I do agree with what uh, Chief Ruby said. I, I shouldn't have gotten out of the car. But uh, I just, because they were arguing, the two guys were arguing. I was like, listen, I just got out of the car. I literally got out, I stepped foot out of the car. I got shot. Yeah. Right in the kneecap. Mm, that's not what I heard, but. <laughs> of, of course, that's not what you heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, of, yeah. of course, because they're criminals. Excuse me? So you probably had a conversation with Clark Mason. He shot me You're in the kneecap. You're very presumptuous then. You think I, I haven't talked to Clark. Oh, never mind. So you know, there's, there's no... a video of what happened, right? Then if there's a, please, if there's a video <laughs> and it proves that these idiots, said, I'm fucking first, with no, them now. Idiots said these idiots said I opened fire. Then I got GSR tested. I came back negative. They double back under. I opened fire and said I pointed my gun. And if there is a video, it would prove I stepped foot out. My right foot was even completed out of the car and I got shot. I hope there was a video. I please. Okay. Um. All right. Um. So what happened? Did you get reprimanded? Uh, I got no, another command report. Um, was put up. And, okay, but uh, hold no, on. Waiting, I'm, please I'm wait, don't no, tell me I'm, there was a command report. Of course, there's gonna be a command report. No, 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 no. But the thing is, I have to like, wait. What happened? I, Did I, you I get know. in trouble? I, I not yet. I don't know. They haven't talked to me about it yet, so I'm I'm waiting for it. Okay. Do you think you're going to get in trouble? Yes, 1000%. Okay. Do because you know they what? Take the words of a, a criminal. I'll tell you what's going to happen, right? Um all reprimanding shit has to be figured out in 48 hours. Um one shit is put into place. Uh I don't want this like 2-3 week investigation of officers while fucking high command and command glaze each other about how they're solving all the problems in the PD. 
if they can't figure something out in 24 to 48 hours, uh, suck a dick. Um, number two, uh, every punishment needs to be reflective of uh, the the rest of the citizenry, which means suspend for a couple hours, send Den on to sanitation, whatever the fuck. Uh, if it's bad, maybe a one-day suspension, maybe a two-day suspension. Right. Uh, so that everyone can move on because... The uh, fact of the matter is, even if you did something wrong and motherfuckers take a week, nobody gives a shit anyway, so why waste everyone's time? What's your thoughts on that? I do believe that the uh, the 48-hour thing is a really good thing. Yeah. I feel it like should it's, be uh, same waste- day. 48 hours is like worst case. Like, it's a murder mystery type shit. Okay. Not a murder, uh, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I think that forty eight hour deal is a it's a good idea, hundred percent. Um, and if someone like fucks it, it was, up, do you think send, uh, having him like bring material back to the PD for repairs is reasonable? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it. Yeah, it, it's a it's definitely a good idea. It's a good way of going about it because you're, you're not wasting assets at that point, right? For a week yeah. time frame of people are looking into shit all all uh, all week, right? So I I completely agree, agree with you. Okay. Is there anything else you kind of want to bring? And I, I'm, look, listen, Den, like I said, um, sometimes, because yeah. I have this feeling that you think I'm like, get a fucking shit on you. I genuinely want to prick your brain. <sighs> Mr. Mayor, yeah. you uh, you have not shit on me at all. You've been nothing no. but 100% honest with me, and I appreciate that. Okay? Um, yeah. that, that is it. Once again, I, the only If I thing... thought you were dog shit, you would know. You know what I mean? I think the city yeah. needs... Uh, dens. Uh, otherwise, it's fucking boring. You know what I mean. And yep. plus, you make a lot of people look good. So, um, I, I mean, I am the TRT shift one lead. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. Yeah. Um, we we do a lot of. You know, we apprehend, <laughs> I think our shift has like the most apprehension <laughs> out of all the shifts. I love that. Every single one of them. Yeah. Maybe combined. Uh, okay. So we covered the training. Uh, you're an FTO, from my understanding. Yep. Um, you know, we covered the reprimanding shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any concerns so far in regards to those topics before we move on? No, no concerns, sir. No, no concerns. Okay. I just hope, uh, once again, whoever your candidates are, uh, you, yeah, hopefully they do a good job. That's, that's really it. Okay. Uh, anything else? Any other things I need to be aware of? How, how much do you like me, Mr. Mayor? Uh, you're a cop. I think uh, if you were found in a video um, akin to, uh, you know, the one with the fucking clown doll, you know, where yep. you're waking up half drugged up, not knowing where you were, the lights are flickering, and there's just, you know, broken tile all over the place. And um, as you sort of begin to realize what's happening, you realize your your penis is in a vice. And um, across the room is your loved one. Okay. And uh, now you have to make a choice. What, 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 what's, you have what's 30 one? minutes. What's, what's, what's loved one? Well, I, I wouldn't know, but like whoever. Significant, si- significant, significant other? other, whoever Okay, it is. continue, continue. And now you have to make a choice. You have 30 My minutes. My them? Yeah. They're dead. Hmm. No hesitation. <laughs> they, they are gone. I'll be at the funeral. You would, you would love, you would let your loved one die? That's it. They lived what if life. it was Cornwood? He's gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, but why are you asking this question? How much do you like me? Like, what the fuck are you asking? Um, me? You, uh, you, do you want to? Are you trying to do a tilly right now? You want to come over here, bend over without your panties on? Panties on? Wait, tilly works here now, brother. Have you paid attention to anything outside of the department? No, I, I've been. I don't. She's think... been on my campaign team for like four weeks. That's she's why I haven't seen her at the meetings. No, she's not at the meetings because your fucking police department went through a fucking SIM card and then has been harassing her and bullying the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a slack situation. Yeah, well, hopefully he dies uh, for the sake of everybody. 
Um, yeah, hope uh, hope uh, he gets better. You don't actually think that, but uh, yeah, why are you good. asking? Um, uh, to be honest with you, I just I just don't want you to if I if I if the transfer did go through, I just don't want you to feel some type of way. I want to ask you something. In. What are you gonna do transferring to the fucking desert? You know they're gonna be bored out of their minds soon, right? Yeah, but they, they need some seasoning up there. Okay. Uh, I feel like the cops are so like I, I'm trying to be honest here, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like the police department, including high command, is so out of the loop as to what's happening around them that they don't realize that there's two fucking counties, that there's going to be two separate budgets, that the budgets are going to be dependent on the jobs that are happening in the county, that BCSO will have zero jurisdiction down here unless they have given permission. Now, there can be policy in place where LSPD can, and BCSO, you know, they go to each other's calls, right? That's normal. But mm -hmm. literally, the jurisdiction's here. You won't have any say in the city. You're going to be fucking hunting moonshiners, brother. Like, is you, you really want to go up there? Yeah, uh, I, at least at least I'll be hunting moonshiners uh, appreciated. Uh, you know, people would, you know, um, appreciate the work that I do um okay and i won't i won't watch you know uh and this you know this might be a uh it's not like i i'm, I'm not going up there for promotions because once again i still have to talk to cassidy um, i'm leaving on good terms with uh okay uh with the lspd okay uh it's one of those kind of uh you don't appreciate me so why the, why would i stay in a department that yeah. doesn't appreciate me i'm Fair enough yeah all right um okay um that uh that's uh interesting yeah i don't i don't take it any kind of way i'm just kind of saying like you know yeah yeah don't I, be I, surprised I do, like two months from now when uh you know the shit that's on the way happens and you know i think a lot of people yeah. don't see the writing on the wall you know what i mean yeah it, that, that's that, it's listen I, it, once again it's one of those man i'd rather be somewhere that i'm appreciated than than somewhere i'm not right it's all about my happiness at the end of the point uh, at the end of the day right yeah Okay. Um, that's why I, I was asking how much you like me because you know if I don't know how much you talk to Bones or Cassidy, it would be great to have you know a great man like yourself uh, uh, put in a good word for me. That's why I was asking that question. You want me to talk to Cassidy and Bones so that you can transfer over there? I don't understand. Why don't you just talk to them? Why? Why do no, no, I no, have I'll to talk to them? But you know, word? you know, no, no, it's, it's, it would be it would be very much appreciated if you did. You know, that's why I asked how much you like me. That, that's all. No, it's not, it's are they not even... accepting you like i'm con like... No, no, i haven't i haven't i haven't even talked to them about it yet so okay all right uh all right um anything else you want to bring up that's it brother all right all right well thank you Dan, for your time and uh when you do get rejected by bcso know that you know you remaining in the lspd is you know uh gonna be appreciated I, 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 hey, hey, from hey, yeah, I appreciate you, you know. Yep, anytime. All right, well, you take you mean, care. What, what, what you mean by rejected? Uh, they're not taking it. Why not? Then I don't think you, you look when you when if you get listen, I hope you get accepted. All right, thank you. Yeah, I do. But if you don't, in the in the small chance that you don't, um. Come back and I'll give you the answer to that. All right. <laughs> uh, 